In Chapter 5, the author discussed the impacts of clinical information systems and how they improve patient outcomes, reduce costs, and increase satisfaction. There are many different applications in these systems, ranging from computer provider order entry to medication administration systems. In this video, I am going to be explaining barcoded medication administration. What is barcode medication administration? It is an inventory control system where healthcare providers utilize barcodes to increase accuracy and prevent human errors within the distribution system of prescription medications. Inevitably, the goal of this system is to ensure the correct medication falls into the hands of the patient. The barcode system requires a barcode printer, a reader, a computer system with the software, and the internet. The barcode is printed by the pharmacy and will be scanned by nurses before administering the drug to the patient. How was this technology developed? In the 1990s, a nurse was inspired by a barcode system that was utilized by rental car companies to track vehicles and tra translated that into the healthcare field. When utilized by the Veterans Affairs healthcare system, they saw the increase in accuracy and efficiency. Then it started to spread to other systems. What are the positive impacts of using barcoded medication administration systems? First of all, let's talk about medication errors in general. Medication errors cause more deaths than highway accidents, breast cancer, and AIDS. This is due to errors within preventable adverse drug events in the administration process, which is composed into four different stages, ordering, transcribing, dispensing, and administration. Barcode medication administration systems became a solution to this widespread problem. Now, when nurses administer the drug, they utilize the barcode to make sure that it's one, the right patient, to the right medication, three, the time, four, the dose, and five, the route. These systems have an impact on alerting users to drug patient mismatches. Within four hospitals alone, there are 24,000 alerts where users change their actions. How large of an impact does the system make within the healthcare set setting? The Food and Drug Administration announced that over the next 20 years, these barcode systems are able to reduce medication errors by 50% and prevent more than 500,000 adverse drug effects. What are the negative impacts of utilizing barcoded medication administration systems? First of all, in a study, there are many workarounds documented due to difficulties with technology and interactions between the technologies. Clinicians need to deviate from the usual processes of the system to override authorization allowing for medication errors and deviation from safe use procedures to happen. This happens due to other circumstances such as patient sleeping and more. This technology should allow more flexibility for clinicians to prescribe exceptions to their directions. Next, another cause for errors is because of protocol compliance being unclear and lack of training. Track and tra lack of training and directions will cause errors to occur. There are many different circumstances revolving around medication, such as them being located in different conditions and other organizational related circumstances. There are also other prob problems such as missing barcodes, mislabeled medications, and employees perceiving no errors can be done by the system.